Hey everyone, my name's Dave. This is Custom Spray Mods, and today I'm gonna to be doing some stuff to the Rexy. Now, when you're doing all-wheel drive skids all day long, sometimes your motor can get hot. So I'm gonna show you how to install an aftermarket radiator to help it stay cool. Mishimoto were good enough to send me a brand new performance aluminum radiator. So I'm gonna show you how to install that into WRX. Let's do it. So the first thing you wanna do is put your car on jack stands or a hoist. Um, I've got this handy single post hoist, check it out. Um, it's on wheels, so you can wheel it wherever you want and then just um, wheel it under the car and lift it up. So it's pretty handy. I'm gonna use a hoist to get under so I can drain the coolant out of the current uh, radiator. So yeah, let's do that. Before jacking the car up, you can remove one of the radiator caps. Now you can get under the car and take off the skid plate. A few 14mm bolts and some clips and the skid plate comes right off. Now you can get to your radiator drain plug and remove the existing fluid that's in the radiator. Make sure you have a bucket handy to collect that fluid. Tasty blue coolant. Now you can disconnect the fan plugs for the fans. Remove the spring clip that holds the lower radiator hose on and remove the radiator hose. Now using some long nose pliers, you can remove the spring clip from the return hose that connects to the radiator. Okay, now I'm just going to unbolt the uh, line from the return tank. That's just a 10 mil socket. Now I'm going to remove the top hose that's connected to the radiator. Then I can start removing the other hoses that are connected. I can undo the clip and take out the radiator overflow tank and remove yeah. that from the car. Now it's time to unbolt the brackets holding on the radiator. Once they're off the car, the radiator should slip straight out. The Mishimoto Performance Radiator is a direct fit to the WRX. The original fans can bolt straight on to the Mishimoto radiator. I've taken the fans off the original part, now I'm going to install them on the Mishimoto radiator. Here you can see the difference between the Mishimoto radiator and the stock radiator. The Mishimoto one is double the thickness, which means double the amount of skids. Now I'm just going to wrap the expansion port plug with some Teflon tape and install it into the end of the radiator. Now it's time to lower the radiator back into the car. Should fit nicely. Once it's in, you can start to bolt it all back together. Once you've installed all your hoses and everything back together, you can fill it up with coolant. Now you need to jack up the front of the car as high as you can and run the car until the fans come on. This should bleed the system. Well, there you go. The radiator is installed. That's the Performance Aluminium Mishimoto radiator. So it's all done in the Rexy. It's time to go do some skids. <laughs> 